welcome to our video so today I will show you how to use keyframes and keyframing uh, if you don't know this is basically to create animations in Sony Vegas Pro 15 so right now we have here uh, one uh, let's say wallpaper this is like a wallpaper and if you want to remove these bars uh, all you have to do is right click properties and go left click on maintain aspect ratio and disable resample click OK and this will uh, kind of a uh, stretch the image and as you can see we have one video this is the video now let me just a little bit maximize this so you can see it better uh, and this is that thumbnail so what we're going to do is we're going to actually animate this thumbnail so let me just uh, so if you want to um, create this kind of a, a animation from left to right or from up to down all you have to do is click on this um, kind of a event pan crop and right now we are in event pan crop and right now if you stretch this up here as you can see you will stretch uh, the keyframe keyframes right here as you can see this is like a, a 7 17 second 16 14 12 and all that so i will go, just make it like that so it looks a little bit smaller and right now let's say we want let me just actually stretch it so i can see this image so let's say we want to from left it goes from left to right this will be our animation so hold shift left click and just drag it to the left this will actually be from right to left because we're dragging it to the left and right now you you see it's not really visible right now what you want to do is go with keyframe uh, go with this kind of a slider and go to this first kind of a bigger uh, spot and now uh, click on the this left uh, side here and hold shift and just drag it one two three times uh, you can actually four five times and now we can go with slider again one more uh, to this bigger spot I always go I'm always going with a bigger here uh, spot so go here and again hold shift left click one two three four five and again go to this here one two three four five and go to the end and just again so this is all with uh, holding shift and left clicking uh, and holding left click and just going to the right uh, as you can see now we have kind of a this as you can see this is kind of an animation as you can see and if you want to make it smoother just uh, left click on this last and hold shift and click on this first and right click and hold uh, uh, actually you can select fast slow however you want uh, we're going to go f uh, linear uh, you can also click fast so let me just see how fast goes so now we're going to exit out of this and as you can see we're going to play this uh, without playing the audio like that as you can see it's going it's not really fast uh, and as you can see this is basically how fast uh is going so it goes to the one point and then fast to the one point and then fast as you can see right here so yeah so what i uh, really recommend you to do just go on again uh left click on the last one and hold shift and click on this first one right click and go to linear linear i, I think the linear is the best uh, to do so let me just play again as you can see it goes pretty pretty smooth uh, it doesn't really stop anything you know it's just go just going smooth and pretty amazing as you can see going really smooth and to the end again it goes a little bit slower just because uh, we just moved it once so this is how you can use keyframing and uh, keyframes in Adobe uh, no, not Adobe uh, Vegas Pro 15 so uh, again what I'm going to do now is you can actually delete this two here and you can see how it goes right now now it goes I think a little bit faster uh, as you can see click on this and it goes a little bit faster this time you can also create um, you can also create it like this so you can again go to this first and now as you can see it's all behind and now go to the last and just drag it with uh, holding shift and holding left click drag it to the beginning and you can again select this to linear right click linear and now as you can see it goes again you can do it like that but you can again 
you can just try try it out and this is what I'm doing with uh, loading bar on Instagram and if you if you saw that type of videos and yeah basically this is how you can use keyframing and keyframes in Sony Vegas Pro 15 also Pro 16 uh, I will also uh, make some more tutorials about uh, Vegas Pro 16 because it's currently out it's brand new and yeah so thank you guys for watching